Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you outfielders about which is better, the regular old-fashioned crow hop or the step behind technique, okay? Both of them you'll see major league outfielders do and the very first thing is there's really not a right or a wrong answer. I'm gonna pick up this ball and show you uh, you've probably you're probably familiar with both techniques, but a crow hop is pretty much when I field the ball, uh, you know, on my left side. I'm a right-handed thrower, so I feel it on my left side, my glove side. I feel the ball, boom, just like this. And then what I do is I come through and I do a hop like this and try and close my hips and my shoulders off, so I'm able to make that throw. And then the step behind technique, which is my personal preference, which I'll explain in a little bit. We're still fielding the ball the same off of our glove side. But then once we field the ball, we're actually stepping behind like this, okay? So as you can see, we're stepping behind. Kind of similar if you were just playing catch. A lot of the times when I, when I see players play catch, you don't step in front like this because it's a lot of the times harder to clo close yourself off. What you do is you catch the ball and then you step behind and that's much easier to close yourself off. That's one of the reasons why I like the step behind technique a little bit better. If you just watch my hips, in relation to trying to throw the ball you know directly this way if i do a crow hop a lot of the times when i come up like this my hips are already kind of leaking forward it's very difficult for me to really square myself off my hips and my shoulders it's tough to square myself off whereas if i do the step behind technique if i feel like this and i step behind i'm literally turning my entire body when i do this motion i'm turning so my hips and shoulders and everything are square so i'm most likely going to make a stronger and more accurate throw. On top of that, I think that the step behind technique is most of the times a heck of a lot faster. I just think that you can do this move a lot faster than you can do the entire crow hop. And something that you really wanna avoid, again, the personal preference for me is the step behind technique, but you'll see major league outfielders do both. And it's really a personal preference kind of thing. Either one, if you're trying to switch, you know, from a crow hop to a step behind, it's gonna take practice. But the thing that I really don't like about the crow hop, uh, and the reason why I kind of switched to the step behind technique, is a crow hop, when you field the ball here, okay? If I field the ball here, the idea is to immediately, from fielding the ball here, you know, with my right leg, take that hop, and then immediately it's right, left, and throw. That's the idea. But a lot of players, and myself included, a lot of the times when you're running close to full speed in like that, and you gather yourself and you field the ball, a lot of the times you can't make the throw just by going right, left, throw. So a lot of times players take that false step there, and then they end up taking two more steps. So, you know, you're just wasting time when you do that. They field the ball here and they take, you know, too many steps and then they try and get into a good solid throwing position. Whereas with the step behind, you could already have had that ball out of your hands, more likely to get that dude out. So again, I think the step behind technique is a little bit easier to just sync everything up. I think it's easier to get a quicker, uh, stronger, more accurate throw off. So that's my personal preference, but either one works. The most important thing is keeping the ball in front and making the play. And if you do that, no coach is gonna be mad no matter which method you choose. So try out both of them. I'm gonna show both of them right now so you can kind of get a glimpse at what they look like, okay? is my personal preference but try out both see what works for you best all right and hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, there's not really one that's better than the other it's personal preference it's whatever works for you okay so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did leave me a thumbs up get in the comment section below let me know what you'd like me to make future videos about I'm always down there reading your guys's comments so I would appreciate if you left a comment as always subscribe to the channel just click this little circle right here and then click subscribe that way you'll be notified whenever we release new baseball videos every week and I actually put together a free bat speed workout for you 100% free it's a full workout we go through a warm-up we go through all the different exercises I promise you it's really gonna help you transform your bat speed all you have to do is click on the first link below this video that'll take you to my website I just need your email address and I'll send you that free bat speed workout okay so go grab that workout thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time